who are compartmentalized. Our troops, on record, grow the opium and protect it, and it's then shipped out of the country. The Russians have complained about this. The Europeans have complained about this. NATO is heavily involved in trafficking the narcotics out with the Pentagon. The Taliban finances much of its operations by selling opium, which is grown from poppies, which are right now being harvested. So here's the question. Why are American troops now helping Afghan farmers grow that opium? In western Kandahar, poppy farmers score, kill, harvest their crop, and the Americans do nothing to stop them. Uh, and in a sense, uh, you're watching as uh, this opium is being grown. I know it, it grinds at your gut. Uh, how do you deal with it? What are you doing about it? Well, uh, frankly, this is a part of their culture. So uh, while it might grind in my gut, it, it's what they do. And now, because the public's begun to wake up to this, they've hidden it in plain view with Fox News, ABC News, you name it, BBC, the list goes on and on, coming out and going, yeah, the troops kind of guard it. They don't like it, but that's their culture. We, we provide them security, we're providing them resources, and we're providing them alternatives. And the Marines are doing the good thing. Uh, Dave, Clayton, and Allison, back to you guys in New York. He just explains it better than we can ever read in any paper what a dilemma it is with we, the opium trade. And yeah, they make so much money off the opium per yard there. They make so much money compared to those yeah. other crops. They're not guarding it because it's the Afghan culture. They're guarding it because they're ramping up production, giving them the fertilizer to ship it in worldwide. $500 billion a year in opium profits alone. The British were able to bring down the Chinese government over a 50-year period because the Chinese made opium illegal. And so the British could infiltrate with it and make huge profits and buy off the local governments. That same system has been done by these offshore mega banks that are laundering hundreds of billions of dollars of the money each year. The police have been corrupted with asset forfeiture seizure. The list goes on and on. Think about it. Our government helps grow and ship the opium out of Afghanistan. And then at the same time has the nerve to arrest low-level dealers that sell it to people like Hoffman who tragically die. There is a scourge of heroin in the last 12 years flooding the world out of Afghanistan. And our criminal government, run by offshore megabanks, is at the wheel driving the entire thing. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars Nightly News. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Well, every week in the mainstream media, we're hearing stories about how guns are dangerous, we need to get rid of the guns, while stories of women especially being able to actually protect themselves and protect their families when they're at home alone are often overlooked. Specifically, just this last week, a woman in Michigan, a few days ago, a woman in Michigan woke up in the middle of the night to find a masked man who had a gun and a machete standing outside of her window. And she went upstairs and got her gun, and while her children were asleep, her husband was away on service in Afghanistan. So she's home alone, and here's this masked man, and he's circling around her home, tapping his machete on the window. And because she had a gun, she was kind of able to play this game with him where he would step back a little bit, and he didn't bother her until the police were able to get there. This is a perfect example of a woman who was home alone, her, her husband's away uh, on service, or her husband's not there, her kids are asleep, and she needed to be able to protect herself. This is in stark contrast to that New Jersey mom that we heard of last year, who an intruder did come in her home and he viciously attacked her in front of her three-year-old child. And that was all caught on a nanny cam. That woman was left completely defenseless. She was a completely defenseless victim. So I'm gonna speak briefly with Bunny Hunter today. She is a woman's empowerment activist, we'll say. Uh, her YouTube channel shows a lot of videos of her shooting guns and being an all-around tough gal. She is gonna talk with me a little bit about how important it is to have a gun in the home, especially for us ladies. Okay, so Bunny, thank you for joining us. Now, Thanks for having me. It seems like the ultimate empowered woman, the ultimate sign of, of feminism is to be able to defend yourself, protect your family, and protect yourself. So why do you think that feminists are so against being armed? Well, I think with anybody, not just feminists, it has a lot to do with brainwashing because there's no other rational explanation for it. The criminals have guns. The bad guys have guns, therefore we need to have guns in order to protect ourselves against them. In a perfect world, nobody would have guns, you know, whatever. It's, that's, that's a totally different scenario that's not happening, so we need not discuss it. Right, and I've actually watched, you know, a lot of the videos on your channel, and you definitely seem like you could kick a lot of butts. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So I'm, I'm new to guns and I'm kind of on the search for something. So what would you recommend for a lady like myself? I mean, there's pictures of me with the 50 cal and that's obviously <laughs> nothing that I'm gonna be <laughs> shooting at home, but right. what would you recommend? Well, definitely a revolver. That seems to be um, the number one recommendation for women first time shooters. And you would recommend that over something like a, a semi-automatic or? Yeah, definitely, because it's it's a perfect starter gun. There's With a the revolver, there's basically nothing that can go wrong. They're known for um, not having a lot of flaws, so it's just a lot easier. There's not a lot of recoil. Um, I believe the one that's in the top running for women is the Smith & Wesson, um, the lady shooter, and they make them in pink, so, you know, it's... <laughs> It can help with girls if they're a little afraid of guns at first. You get something in pink, you're like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> right. It seems much less scary. And I hate right, exactly. I hate to be like that, but I am. I am. It's okay. Jakari always makes fun of me because my first instinct when I'm grabbing a gun is to put my finger on the trigger. And <laughs> that's just obviously a lack of training. Right. <laughs> so is there something? Will you tell him to stop making fun of you? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's what happens when you work with nothing but men. So oh, I feel you on that one. <laughs> so is there a specific crash course or some sort of training that you would recommend? Uh, you know, what do you have in your survival handbag? <laughs> 
Well, my daily handbag, I always have, if my weapon's not on my person, it'll be in my purse. Um, I'll have extra rounds, extra magazines, um, a knife, flashlight, and a bottle of water. You are tough. See, that's what I like, you know, to be able to still be a babe, but to defend yourself. I know Marco said if he was stuck in a dark alley, he would like to be protected by Bunny Hunter. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of guys will say to me, you know, oh, you're scary, you're intimidating, but it's it shouldn't be that way. It's only for bad people. Only bad people need to be scared of someone who's well equipped and armed. Right. The proper training is is what what you would need to feel the most secure. Anything that is promoted by the NRA, any type of training, they they're the top when it comes to gun training. So Pretty much anything, if you look, they'll be NRA certified, any type of certification that has to do with the NRA. Okay. But, and, and if you can't take it that far, um, your local gun range, they provide lessons as well. You just want to make sure it's not somebody that's new to firearms and it's going to teach you improperly. So what do you think about this Stanford University law professor who has gone on to say that the Second Amendment, he said, permits strong gun control. He told a crowd that restriction has to be at the core of the right to carry a gun. What do you think about how people are trying to twist the Second Amendment? Yeah, that's just insane. It was written a certain way and there was no gray areas. Um, and that's what our country was built off of. And consequently, that's what makes this country so great that everybody wants to come over here. So I think that the amendments need to be followed to a T and there's no, there's no gray areas to do with that. Now I did notice he said something about that we need not fear the military, they wouldn't turn on civilians, something to that effect. And, and he's, he's making the mistake of grouping the military with the current administration. And I, I'm guessing he knows nobody in military because they, they do not support the things that the current administration does. They're, those aren't the same views. So we're not worried about the military turning on us. Exactly. I mean, we have all of these non-law enforcement agencies buying up all of these the ammunition. I, I mean, now the That's latest insane. is the post office. Right. So what do you think they need them for? Well, I think that it's a typical bureaucratic BS and, and they're it's like Obama. I saw a picture where he had a picture of all his Secret Service, all armed to the T's, and him saying with a little post up top, uh, guns are not safe, guns are no good, yet he's fully protected with guns. It's, it's the same thing. They want us to not be, but they want to be. So there has to be something to that. It's just, it's not right. All right, Bunny, so what can we look forward to next on the YouTube channel? I'm putting a video out tomorrow, actually. So Friday, there'll be a new one. And after that, I have some footage. I was recently in Turks and Caicos, and I have some footage of ATV rides, uh, Bunny Hunter flipping out on the island. So <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah. Looking forward to it. Well, thank you so much for being like the absolute version of empowerment for women. I'm really glad to see you putting these videos out. They're getting a lot of hits. People are seeing that this is what true empowerment is all about. So That's right. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. See, nothing says femininity like field stripping an MP5 with a fresh coat of nail polish. Now, if you want to let the world know that they can come and take it, visit the InfoWars store and pick up this Come and Take It t-shirt. It comes in pink. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for watching the show tonight. I will be hosting the news tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central, so be sure to tune in. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.